William Gein of Alipac, one of the major uh, pro-sovereignty, anti-completely open border groups, William Gein will be joining us for about 30 minutes in the next hour to really break down what is in the different versions of the amnesty bill that is really the North American Union uh, trillion dollars every five years, they're estimating conservatively, program that will just complete this country's journey into banana republic. They try to spin it like it's hospitality, have open borders, but you can't go to Mexico or Guatemala or Nigeria uh, or Russia for that matter and just say, I want to have my babies for free. I want free welfare. I want, you know, everything and I'm above the law. But in the West, the globalists use immigrant populations as a pro-government group. They don't fund the immigrant groups because they care about them. They do it because they're using them to drive down wages, and that's what NAFTA and GATT has done. NAFTA has destroyed Mexico. Mexico's standard of living has gone down. Look at all the numbers. If you want to help Mexico, you end the drug war, you end drug prohibition, that'll end a lot of the organized crime, and Mexico has more billionaires per capita than any other country in the world because it is totally centralized with a tiny group of uh, filthy rich people who have gotten their money through monopolies. From Carlos Slim, the richest man in the world, he's not really, but he's one of the richest new money people in the world. Uh, it's just unbelievable. Unbelievable. I mean, there's a State Department warning not to travel to Mexico, and we're supposed to just collapse the border completely. I would rather Mexico have its own revolution of liberty for freedom, revolution of ideas. And I'd like to see them with the Second Amendment. I'd like to, or, or whatever the free people of Mexico developed. You know, uh, there was a, uh, there's a new NRA video out that I saw last night. Uh, McBreen showed it to me. Will you guys, or no, it was Rob Dew. Will you get Rob Dew to give you that? I want to play that later. He was showing it to me in his office where they show all the numbers. I already knew this. So when I saw it, I knew the NRA was telling the truth. So I don't just watch the NRA and go, oh, they're telling the truth. I already knew this. I've seen the numbers. A lot of you have seen them. But I want to do a, maybe a nightly news report tonight on this. I, I want to review their new ad and then show some, uh, you know, some more documentation. <clears throat> that Most of the guns the drug cartels are getting are full auto, flown in by Wells Fargo, Wachovia, and others on record in giant cargo planes. Uh, the Mexican cartels tend to like German weapons. I saw a statistic where like half of them are German full auto Heckler and Koch and things. And so they've got grenade launchers, tanks, armored vehicles, rocket launchers, and full auto. I mean, Mexican drug cartels have heavy 50s, folks. Full auto. You can't buy that. Hand grenades. They buy them from Europe, they buy them, the U.S. military stuff gets down there, full auto M16s, full auto uh, 308s, Reapers, you name it. And again, I as a gun aficionado who studies all this, I know this, but thank God the NRA's on this. They're now blaming the crime in Mexico on the Second Amendment. But I did look up some numbers. Guess who is getting guns in America? because they can't get them in Mexico, and guess who is using them to defend themselves? And there's now vigilante groups all over Mexico restoring law and order. Guess who? Mexicans are coming here and getting shotguns and rifles and handguns to protect themselves, even though they're outgunned, with American guns. So it's true. When Obama doesn't want Mexicans to get guns, it's just like he doesn't want Americans to have guns. That's what's going on. He's siding with the drug cartels and that pig government down there against the Mexican people having a right to defend their families. Everything we said came true. Everything we've done has been right. The news websites are Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. I had quite an epiphany this morning while hiking with my son in the lush spring morning. And the, re the epiphany is a thought I've had so many times, but it hit me so hard and with such clarity that the reason I get so frustrated and so angry 
and almost describe my disgust at tyranny and globalists and bullies like that of claustrophobia, because that's what it is. I want them off my back. I want them out of my life. I have so much love for beauty and innocence and goodness, and that is what is all over the world. That is what dominates creation. But evil has a hunger to be in control, and so this paradox historically is always there. And I just cry out for justice. I, I resonate for truth. And, and I'm not up here saying I'm a high and mighty moral person because of that. I am just a natural man. I'm a simple man. But common sense and simpleness in this modern mad world is a revolutionary idea. And when you study reality, when you study governments and political systems like I do, no exaggeration, 18 hours a day. I even dream about political situations in the New World Order. As many people do, things that you're focused on, you dream about. Most coaches I know say they dream about coaching. They dream about games, whether it's basketball, golf, football, baseball. It's the same thing. I eat, drink, and sleep Veritas. I want Veritas. And I, I just feel so incredibly empowered and, 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 and just so appreciative of consciousness. And then I see people dumbed down. I see people misled. I see people who feel bad about themselves because Madison Avenue has taught them to feel inadequate. So that uh, Madison Avenue can then sell them lies in the name of making you complete when it actually makes you even more incomplete. You were born complete. I mean, I was just thinking about how everything is incredible, how driving down the highway and, and, and seeing hawks on, on light poles and uh, police cars flashing lights and uh, cars, taillights fading in and out through the hills at night, what Robert Plant was just singing about, and the breeze and how you'll catch the smell of flowers and just how magic everything is, how incredible it all is. How good it all is. I was exercising yesterday evening. And I looked up and whatever they call the official White House helicopter, Marine One, I think is the name of it. And I, and I guess Obama's here in two days, so they had Marine One. And, and, and yesterday, I'm sitting there. It's a pure blue sky, totally gorgeous. It's like... Six o'clock at night, I went and exercised and came back and did the nightly news. And I'm there jogging through the woods, and I hear this big helicopter, and I look up over the hills, and here comes Marine One, and it flies right over me. And it was just such an assault. It was an alien Skynet globalist craft serving and doing a test run for the emperor's arrival. And then the emperor is nothing but the great Oz projection. I am the great and powerful Oz. Yeah, that's the old Marine One we've got on screen for TV viewers. It's the new Black Hawk Marine One. Type in the new Black Hawk Marine One because it was a big Black Hawk but with the white top and the green bottom. And I just wanted to be away from it. I, I, and, 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 and it brought to mind thousands of crystallized thoughts of just the stupid red carpets and the pageantry and how none of it means anything. People say, well, Alex, if, if, if Hollywood and all this means nothing, then, you know, why have you gone and hung out with Hollywood stars and people? Well, I'll tell you, you know, 10 years ago, I was still not really into it, but it was interesting. But I'm certainly not into it now unless I respect someone and I think they're an interesting, creative person. Yes, that's what I saw over Austin. The Black Hawk, Marine One, United States of America. I couldn't read the United States, but I could see the white on the tail from seeing it and tell that it said United States of America. It's kind of like a road sign. You can read it before it comes into view perfectly just by the outline. 
And it's all about how they're God. It's all about how they're above the law. I get these emails, I see the comments about, hey, you know, so we had martial law in Boston. You people are nothing. You don't count. I read one of those YouTube comments yesterday. You know, the police are the professionals. And, and, and that's been the attitude throughout history. The government is up on a pedestal, and it's sovereign, and it has rights, and it's God, and you're scum. That's how 98% of other governments conservatively you can count on one hand so just quasi free societies. Quasi free. And they were usually societies that came out of incredible tyranny that was so horrible, people codified basic human rights that were in stone, punishable by death if you violated them, because it's so dangerous to turn the worst people loose in society in a tyranny. That's how tyranny works. You get rid of the checks and balances, the worst in the society will take control. And I started thinking about how they had the FBI counterterrorism deputy director on CNN. I played the clip yesterday. Go and listen. We record everything you do. We can go back in time and hear everything the Zarnev brothers said. The dead Patsy Tamerlan and the other one. And he smiled about it with pleasure in an egomaniac, criminal energy, hiking the leg, urinating on us, criminology display. I mean, I've seen the look in the serial killers in the dock at trials. I've seen the look of criminals. I've been in juvenile multiple times until I got out on trial in fights. I've been around criminals, ladies and gentlemen. And I know the look in their eye, the enjoyment in cheating people, in lying to people, in getting things over on them. And I saw it in that FBI agent's eyes, the enjoyment, how they can go back and pull up years of every phone call we made, recordings of it, not just the, the text. And everything you do, recorded on record. That was known back in the Telecommunications Act of 96. That's how dumb they think you are. And I'm the conspiracy theory person for telling you things that are admitted fact. That is flaming criminality. Oh, it's to keep us safe from Adam Gadon, the grandson of the head of the ADL formally, and then the other four leaders of Al-Qaeda are all U.S. born, trained, Known CIA operatives. I'm like, if there's a drill, if they're on CIA payroll, if they've been protected, if they've got a history with the FBI, it's a staged event. Look at the drill they had, which they admit they had, but now won't talk about. And then all, and then, oh, how did I just guess minutes after it happened in overdrive that Monday with Richard Belzer on the show that it'll be people connected to the CIA and FBI protected and there'll be a drill. And there'll be a stand down and then they'll kill the patsies or cut the other one's throat out. I mean, I mean, because they run the same blueprint. <clears throat> By the way, I've got to, before I get into all this big news, I've got to apologize. I just read the Wikipedia entry on Iron Man and it turns out there was a last minute re-edit, which I confirmed through our reporters in L.A. And I went and saw Iron Man last night. And it, 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 was, it was very cartoonish, very stupid at the end, still entertaining. And I went and saw the film, and they openly tell you that defense contractors are staging the terror attacks and running the Pentagon program to counter the terrorist. And they go, it's supply and demand. We run all sides. It's full-spectrum dominance. Now, no one else has said that but me. I mean, sure, we know governments for 200, 300 years have been funding both sides. The Rothschilds have been doing it. Big banks have been doing it. That's a well-known system. But they actually say in the movie, it's full-spectrum dominance. We create the terrorism, and then we also make the money off fighting it. It's supply and demand. And then there's a false flag, and bin Laden is an actor in it. And I don't even know what to say anymore. 
Yeah, Mandarin. <laughs> uh, but, but, you know, the problem is I walk out of the theater and I hear everybody going, I didn't understand that. See, that's why they can throw it in your face. Because, because the people watching it don't even know what any of it means. It's just like Oblivion that's a lot better film. You know, very well done. Um... Uh, I'm Darren McBreen, and these are some of the new items that are available now at InfoWarsShop.com. Alert the public to Obama's blatant abuse of power with the new Obama t-shirt. Obama's joker face on the front and come and take it on the back. It's time to publicly call him out for what he is, a tyrant. Defend the Second Amendment with our top seller come and take it t-shirts. And look at that, women's cut tank tops and t-shirts now available. Nice hat. Plus, the Don't Tread on Me flag. And now you can become a micro distributor of the InfoWars magazine. Plus, get your own copy delivered right to your door each and every month. And if you're tired like I am of you and your family being exposed to polluted drinking water, get the Pro One High Performance Water Filter. It gets rid of all pathogenic bacteria, cysts, fluoride, heavy metals, and numerous other contaminants. So join the revolution at InfoWarsShop.com. You know what? I'm going to get to the off-the-chart news in the next segment. I want to continue talking about the world outside of globalist control a little bit. Then I'm going to get to danger. Google warns Drudge Report and InfoWars are malware. Uh, Dan Pfeiffer, senior advisor of the White House, told the public and the media do not visit the Drudge Report because it's helping expose the fact that they're overthrowing the Bill of Rights and Constitution, putting our military under U.N. control, buying billions of bullets. And uh, now Google is lying and saying that we have malware. We've scanned the site. This is not on our site. They are liars. They did this to Drudge a few years ago. It came out. It was a lie. And Google is the ultimate hack. Worldwide, they've been caught from France to the U.S., from Canada to Australia with Google cars driving around with antennas on them, jacking your computer and hard hacking it. It's a felony each time. If you or I did this, you're talking years in jail. Breaking into your computer, stealing everything on it, stealing your passcodes, everything. In fact, guys, print me a bunch of articles on that. I know Kurt linked to them, but I want to... Um, I want to um, I want to show TV viewers actually articles. Just type in Google hacks computers. Google broke into computers with Google Car. I mean, this is the ultimate malware, ultimate surveillance. When you set, when you're on Google and you set your settings. In fact, get me Catherine Albrecht back on about Google. I want to do a whole show on them. There it is, Business Insider. Google caught secretly hacking Apple software to track people, iPhone and Mac users. Yeah, that's nothing. Print that too. No, no, no. They hack your actual computer with Google cars. Google cars caught hacking. I I'm already getting into this. I said I'd get into it in the next segment. This is the ultimate hacking group. And it turns out when they said Drudge was hacking people or Drudge had malware two years ago, this is in Kurt's article linked to mainstream news. Turns out it was Google's own software in the ad packages run by a third party that they said was spying on people. So I'm gonna explain that again. That's just like our government funds Al-Qaeda to attack countries, then they give them heat-seeking missiles, and then we've gotta give our rights up because Al-Qaeda's got heat-seeking missiles. And that's like Google is spying on you, but then on its ad software that they buy up every, we, we've used like three different companies to serve our ads. Google's bought every one of them. They just bought the last company we're now using. So we've gotta find another one. So the only thing our IT people think this may be is th that again, because we've got some Google software running on one part of things that they're now blocking us because we, because they have a freaking monopoly on ad software. I mean, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I have trouble dealing with this level of hypocrisy. Google is sued by dozens of customers after snooping on 10 million iPads. Yeah, that's just the latest, guys. Print me all that. Two years ago, they had to plead guilty. I think it was in France, but they've also got caught doing it here. Google hacks computers, steals passcodes with Google cars. 
It's the it's the Google cars that go around taking the photos. They got antenna. It is. Did Google get off easy with seven million for for why spy settlement? Yeah, there it is. You see a Google car driving around. It ain't just taking photos, Jack, at your house. Okay, that is an NSA globalist imperial probe droid. That's the same thing. That's the same thing uh, the, the, the smart meters are. They bragged 15 years ago they were going to put, quote, smart meters on your house. You hear smart, you better run. And all the, all the new appliances, from toasters to clock radios to washing machines, all of them watch and listen and track everything you're doing. And now they say, oh, we are going to control the heat in your house. I remember reading about that 10 years ago and people were like, you kook, they're not going to control the temp. Then they come out two years ago and go, we actually are going to control your thermostat. <laughs> I mean, if that isn't malware hacking, and now I'm getting these reports everywhere. And I've just been so busy, I told IT to look into it. And now Kurt finds about about it because it's in the news. That Google is lying and saying, we're putting malware on you so you don't go to InfoWars.com when they are, if I'm a sinner, they're Satan. This is Satan saying I'm evil. Well, get behind me, Google. Get behind me, Satan, Beelzebub, Baphomet, Leviathan. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, get behind me, Google. NSA, NSA, who says, don't be evil. What a joke. I'm going to get to that more later. I want to talk more about the universe and how these people are not God, even though they want to act like it. They just showed me one of the Google cars, all these antennas and camera pods and wiring off of it. But it's like Google. Oh, they have beer and pinball. They have a Google movie coming out. They're non-threatening. Uh, uh, Warren Buffett's got an ice cream cone. Bill Gates loves children. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. Let me tell all of you something. You didn't build nothing. In fact, your parents didn't create you. A government immaculate conception happened. A little vampire bat flew in the window, climbed on top of your mama. That's where you came from. You are, you are the seed of government. They are our God and King. And you know, I can sit there and joke about that, but government wants to become God. The globalists want to become God. GMO is taking over all the real original crops and replacing it with toxic death and poison that sterilizes every mammal that comes in contact with it long term. But they are not God. Let me finish up with the Google story, then I'll get into the fact that they are not in total control and the New World Order is dead on arrival and they will fail if humanity rises to the challenge. But let me just show you the article. Punch this up for TV viewers. Radio listeners, go to Infowars.com. And I've had Kurt update his article uh, and add a bunch of news articles admitting that Google is the ultimate criminal spy breaking into your computer, committing mass felonies. But it's a government cutout, just like Total Information Awareness Network set up by the CIA via NQTEL funding. When I first reported that 10 years ago with the CIA, former uh, technology expert at the CIA, Steele, uh, Mr. Steele, forget his first name. And you can look it up. The media flipped and said it was a conspiracy theory. And he got threatened and wouldn't come back on the show after that. Now it's been declassified. Look up Google in QTEL. They're just given the spy satellite data. They're just given. They're, they're based at the NASA headquarters, the real NASA headquarters, the clandestine operations. 
And what does Google say? They say, don't visit Infowars.com. Don't visit PrisonPlanet.com. And the reason I tell you this is, you better appreciate Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. You better appreciate DrudgeReport.com because the White House and the globalists are on record trying to pass Soviet or communist-style Internet censorship. That's their words. Even CBS News, CNET, had to call it Chinese-style and Russian-style censorship. Okay? Remember the White House chief advisor to Obama said, don't go to Drudge. And again, they think they're God. Don't go to that. And let me tell you, the general public goes, well, that's crazy. I'm going to go there. Oh, no. They tell the press corps that. They know. You go there and you quote anything off of that, even though it's mainly mainstream news, you, you know, we control the narrative. We want to be able to tell people what the top news story is on every news channel every night. You see that. Well, Drudge isn't with the program. Infowars isn't with the program. So he says, you don't go there, prostitutes. And they say, Heil Obama. Literally. <clears throat> and they don't. I mean, the FBI tells the press, you listen here. You don't look at any other photos of that drill. You don't look at these man's photos over here. And the press, all, 100 plus people in there with Dan Badandi, did not go over and look at it. And they sent shaved head guys over to bump into him and get in his face and threaten him. And he said, I'm not scared of you. I know you guys are involved in this. And boy, let me tell you, the, 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 the look of intimidation and power went out of their eyes. I've seen the video. You've seen the video. When he said, I don't care what you do. I'm done. I know. And boy, they know deep down, too. If they weren't actually there involved in it, they know what it is. You don't have power putting on a uniform or putting on a suit and serving Mordor and imagining you're part of it. All you are is a sucker when you do that. And I'm going to tell you, none of you are going to make it out of this new world order. None of us. If this thing comes in, if this thing actually gets on its feet, and it's starting to try to get up from a crouching position. It's been crawling. And let me tell you, it's scary as a baby. Well, it's now a little boy. And it's now getting strong. And it's now sucking a lot of blood out of a lot of countries. And a lot of ideas and a lot of science out of people. And it wants every stinking one of us dead, six feet under. The New World Order is on a power trip and thinks it's God. And I know I'm right. I've read all their writings. And I sit there and I talk to GQ writers and Esquire writers and all of them. And they're just like, you, you can't really believe this is real. You don't really believe they're doing this. And I'm like, I don't believe it. I know it. <clears throat> and in a world of universal deceit, telling the truth is a revolutionary act, as Orwell said. And I forget who said in the, I think it was a Dutch philosopher, Look it up for me. In the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. When I say that, I see comments on YouTube going, how dare you bash blind people? Is that how politically correct you are? You have no thought process, but to say any knowledge is politically correct, like an idiocracy, when the guy gets up and says, I, I, I want to put on a defense, I'm not guilty. And they go, what are you, a fag? What are you, gay? You know, that's the you know words they use when anybody, I've seen it. What are you doing reading a book? You read too many books. What are you, a fag? I've actually had people tell me that before it was put in the idiocracy. And I bet you money we're going to be able to ask him. I was talking to him yesterday. I should ask him that. Mike Judge, I'll guarantee you, he put that in that movie because he, I'll bet money when I ask him because he's seen that happen. Erasmus, and where was he? It was Dutch, right? Erasmus. In the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. Dutch. Dutch philosopher Erasmus. Dutch Renaissance. You want to know who I am, New World Order? I am Renaissance. You want to know who I am, New World Order? I am enlightenment. You want to know who I am? I am freedom. You want to know who I am? I am compassion. I am justice, I am honor, I am duty, I am will, I am commitment, I am love, I am truthfulness. Does that mean I don't have my evil side? I certainly got it. I got a big good side and I got a big evil side, but my, my good side is a lot bigger than my evil side. And you know what? I'm a mile wide and a trillion miles deep. And so are you. So are you. And you only live when you commit to good. 
that's when the universe opens up to you. All these people serving evil, training in evil. Thinking you'll gain power from evil, you will not gain power from evil. Because you aren't individually resonating with anything good. You are tying into something destructive. Before there was the light, there was darkness. And you're going to see more of this. This is how the globalists have said that they're going to censor the Internet. They have said they're going to censor the Internet by claiming that all sites not affiliated with the globalists in subdomains are malware or scams. and They're going to block you from them, and they're going to tax the web, and they're going to form a new web. Google's putting it in 100 times faster than the rest, and you will have no freedom when you're on that new web. You will be in subdomains and waive your rights. And they want everybody to be in that. They want to be dominant. That's why they've let YouTube be somewhat free and other platforms. But they've said, that's all going away. So we've built PrisonPlanet.tv to fight the prison planet. We are trying to build our own operations. We're trying to build our own infrastructure. We're putting out print media to begin that development. <clears throat> they are going to try to shut us down, but they can't do it. If you know they want to shut us down, and if you'll tell everybody about Infowars.com, I'm telling you, folks, they're scared of Infowars.com, and they're scared of DrudgeReport.com, and I've told you this, and now you're seeing them come out with it. Group calls for hearings into Google's CIA ties and NSA. Robert David Steele in 2006 first told our broadcast they were CIA funded by InQtel. It's since been declassified. And to have them come out and say we have malware on our site when we don't, let me read you the article. They did this to Drudge in 2010, two and a half years ago. Turned out it was Google's own software on an ad, on a link he linked to. And the last time they said this with us, it never was, it wasn't even the news. We, we looked at it, it was Google. So we got away from Google. And then Google bought the company we went with. And then Google bought the next company. And then Google just bought the other company. You understand they've got a near monopoly over ad server systems. Drudge Report accused of serving malware again. CNET News. The White House says don't go there. Let me, let me read to you the article today. Danger. Google warns Drudge Report and Infowars.com are malware. An effort to scare folks away from alternative media. I don't know why he puts a question mark on it. Maybe we should change that subheadline to, you know, this is the ultimate in... Fraud because Google is the biggest hacker, malware, scamming criminal group in the internet history. And that's conservative. I mean, uh, the, 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 it's like two or three times what anybody else has done. I just computed it. It's probably a hundred times. I mean, it's just that they are the king of it. I'm going to go over that. And everybody should go over the fact of what they're doing. Facebook's a big CIA pump and dump scam where they call their users dumb effers and and, and, and how they're scamming you and charging you to send messages and, and, and people committing suicide over it. I mean, who cares? Use it like a toilet. Use Facebook to jack their system and jack them hard, but hate them and spit on them while you do it. Same thing with YouTube, all of it. Jack the enemy conduits, jack it hard and hate them and spit on them while you do it. This is a war. They're killing kids everywhere with GMO and vaccines knowingly. This morning they had jets out spraying chemtrails everywhere. It's a public geoengineering program. Partially declassified and the public doesn't even know about it. You think you're in Kansas? You're not in Kansas anymore. All you can do is make the decision to look into what we're... The CIA admits full monitoring of Facebook, Google, YouTube, and other social networks. Yeah, you run them. If you're a radio listener, we're showing headlines. An effort to scare folks away from alternative media. Editor's note, Infowars.com's IT department has scanned our system and reports that we do not carry content from umequeds.com, as Google tells visitors to our site. How best to scare people away from alternative media? How about real media? 
Make them think Drudge Report and InfoWars web pages contain malicious software. Again, this is Google, the ultimate criminal group. In April, White House senior advisor Dan Pfeiffer tried to steer traffic away from Drudge Report. Of course, it spiked. His effort directed more traffic to the website. Yeah, you might actually put a link to Alexa to show that. And then it goes on with the message. Google Chrome has blocked access to DrudgeReport.com. Content from uquads.com, a known malware distributor, has been inserted into your web page. Visit this page now is very likely to infect your computer. Total bull. I mean, Google is the one jacking and breaking through your passcodes and spying. And, and, and Smith says you shouldn't visit anything you don't want me to see on a power trip. I mean, what a, what a joke. By the way, he only sold, last time I saw, like 10,000 of his book. What a joke you are, scumbag. Just because you can run a criminal CIA front doesn't mean you actually ever did anything, little man. Hope you're cozy under the black wings of the New World Order. We'll see how that works out for you. Mark Zuckerberg awarded CIA surveillance medal. Wow. I can't handle it. Get him off my screen. It makes me too sick. Some soft punk. I'm so sick of all these punks. Malware is malicious software that causes things like identity theft, financial loss, and permanent file deletion. <clears throat> so imagine, they're, they're telling people that if you go to Infowars.com, you could have identity theft when it's the big banks and government on record that are over 90% of the identity theft problems with, with, with the software and, and data and social security leaks. That's on record. But here they are, the ones that do it. The ones that break into your computer saying we did it. They're desperate. It's not going to work. Everyone, go to Infowars.com. Everyone, tell your friends and family. Support us. Buy the water filters, the t-shirts, subscribe to the magazine. Fill our war chest, and I will wage war on the enemy as hardcore as I can. During a news conference last year, White House Press Secretary Jake Carney instructed a reporter, be mindful of your sources when asked about the Drudge Report. More traffic followed the drudge. Despite the best efforts of Obama Knights and Democrats to diss drudge and put a dent in the web's popularity, millions of folks pursue the site daily. Back in March of 2010, the Senate Committee on Environment and Public Works sent an email stating Drudge's website was responsible for many viruses popping up throughout the Senate. CNET reported that it turned out it wasn't true. No appreciable drop in viewership ensued. Ditto Infowars.com. See, that means we're getting taking direct shots from these people. In recent weeks, a large number of critics, led by spurious reports posted by the Southern Poverty Law Center's website and elsewhere, have posted stories accusing Alex Jones and Infowars.com of fomenting some kind of right-wing terror campaign and distributing baseless conspiracy theories. No matter, following the attack, millions of people flock to the website to get their other side of the story on everything from Sandy Hook to the Boston bombings. Now Google Chrome tags Infowars.com as a malware distributor. Unbelievable. It is a tactic destined to failure. Yeah, but in the new web, they're just going to block us. In a CNET article in March of 2010 reported that malware allegedly distributed by Drudge Report actually came, wait for it, actually came from DoubleClick, a subsidiary of g -g 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 Google. Can anybody say Google, Google, Google. It rhymes with Obama, Obama. Again, who runs Al-Qaeda? NATO and the big banks, publicly. Why do they take our rights? Because of Al-Qaeda. Why has Drudge got malware, which he didn't? Because Google. Google was in planning it in links. Articles he was linking to, doing them a favor. He was sending them money. And what do they do for him sending them traffic? Why, they lie about him. And they do the same thing to us. What a pack of scum and filth and garbage. Read the CNET article. We're linked to it. Google reported on Drudge because of Google. <laughs> I mean, I know we drink a lot of fluoride out there, folks, but... I mean, are you getting the irony here? I mean, this is some satire here. But it's real. That Google is the, I mean, this is incredible. It should be satire, but it's not. It's absurdist. <clears throat> 
It goes on that the Federal Communications Commission documented and disclosed that Google Street View, an effort to photograph streets, that was the cover around the world, deliberately collected massive amounts of Wi-Fi payload data, including breaking into bank accounts, I should add, and that information was illegally stored on Oregon Storage Facility. Google attempted to hide the theft from the public and investigators. Did they go to jail for absconding? Like you or I would? No! And then we have a bunch of links to Google's criminal activity. They declare war on us. I declare info war on scumbag Google. I declare info war on the entire scumbag New World Order. And I demand humanity activate emergency survival genetic code now. Activate. Do you understand how dark it is? How far down the line we are? How late it is? Every little thing you do, every person you talk to, every person you warn, every time you resist, every time you fight a ticket, every time you speak out against the system, the enemy, like a sandcastle with waves coming ever closer, begins to crumble into the sea. This is epic, this is history. You're on a planet in a gorgeous universe. Men and women come together and create a genetic splice clone that is a baby that you then take care of. We live on a tiny sliver, thinner than the skin of an apple, in comparison of oxygen, about 14,000 feet of breathable oxygen in a tiny little sliver on this, on this natural, or the Bible says it's not, space station, perfectly placed with a perfectly placed moon, in the middle of wonderment, and, and the great crime is having to be obsessed all day with these crooks and these scum trying to play God, and they're so demonic that those of us that are awake, we laugh at them like they're demonic children, but they're in control because they lust after it. So we've got to get them out of control and restore checks and balances in the Republic. Take Central Texas, San Antonio and Austin. There's over 80,000 copies of my magazine on the streets there. You can buy these in bulk of groups of 10 up to 100. They've got three bumper stickers, full-size, petroleum-based, you know, the kind that lasts years. Big Infowars.com, restore the Constitution, bumper stickers inside of it. It's the false flags issue. Great to wake somebody up. I want everybody, especially in Central Texas and San Antonio and Austin, I guess that's North South Texas, San Antonio, to get them and to put it on your cars and wherever else is legal and lawful. Certainly do what, don't do what the French resistance did and stick it up in public. We should worship the government. The point is, ladies and gentlemen, that I want to see these. These are on the streets of Austin right now, everywhere. You already see bumper stickers every, you know, 50th car or so, but I want them all over the country. You can also buy bumper stickers at Infowars.com. I mean, do you understand? We have crawled up from nowhere because of your support and been able to put up this fight. And there aren't many of us fighting, but we're having huge, devastating victories when we do. If you get involved and join the team and come in for the big win, we're going to beat these people. What they're doing is totally illegal. They're flaunting on TV that everything you do is recorded on your phone, they have an FBI deputy director of counterterrorism on TV smiling, going, we record everything you say, everything you do, America. And he goes, we can't use it in criminal cases yet. But we are. And that means they can make stuff up. They had programs out a decade ago where you can record someone's voice, put it into a computer and have it say whatever you want. And, and, and another computer can't tell it's fake. 20 years ago, they could show you Forrest Gump shaking hands with Kennedy. It ain't real, folks. They even produced Al-Qaeda videos at the Pentagon and put it, put the Al-Qaeda logo in the same character generator layer. Wired Magazine confirmed that. National Security Agency flipped out. That was five years ago. The Al-Qaeda videos? With the Al-Qaeda logos, those were produced by the Pentagon. They shot them on a soundstage. You're like, that's Iron Man 3, dude. You're ripping off the movie. No, I told you that before 9-11.
I told you they'd blow up the World Trade Center, blame it on their asset, Bin Laden. It's not the U.S. government. It's not our troops, our boys. It's the New World Order. And they don't want you to know about any of this. But if all of you do little things, we outnumber them 10,000 to 1. Declare InfoWar today. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want.